Way by a substantial margin, as we said, the only man within Class A this weekend, so he is effectively in a class of his own as the Matt G racing Janessa goes through in second. But we did kind of predict in qualifying that we could have a good battle second on backwards because the gaps were not uh, too distant from each other, and I think that's what we uh, could get in this one because already a second, third, fourth, and fifth go across the line. It's probably only about six seconds separating them. Uh, but of course they'll settle into that uh, rhythm and as we said things might uh, extend early on but we very much expect things to come back together towards the last stages of the race but for now it's Audi that leads Janetta, that leads McLaren and that leads Jaguar. Yeah so uh, you were talking about uh, the qualifying there because uh, Ian Astley in that SVG Motorsport I believe went qualifying so uh, he managed to get that car up onto the second row and uh, yeah, the top three, which were SVG Motorsport, Mac G Racing 83 and the 68 Team Brick Car, all separated by less than three tenths of a second in qualifying. So it really does build up to uh, what should be a very, very good battle for second place overall. And I believe all of them are in different classes as well, so they'll get class victories off the bat as well. But on the overall position, we've got a bit of battling to do there.
um, but he's now just trying to manage the pace and just kind of relax himself with a, with a new handicap system that he's now involved in the British Endurance Championship, which uh, kind of works out what point you get at the end of the race. You need to be kind of a few laps ahead of your other class rivals and um, Peter Hersey can just kind of manage things and that just shows now, of course, he's got a car with a full uh, fuel tank and uh, that, of course, will uh, get lower and lower as the, the session goes on and, of course, the uh, lighter it gets, the, the time will definitely come down. But for now, just bending himself in nicely and not rushing through things uh, too dramatically and the quickest lap has been set by Peter on that 153.0 but with just over 10 minutes completed, he already has uh, what's going to be a 25 second lead over the rest of the field. Mathemo developing for fifth place overall, but he's for second place uh, in class. Thank <laughs> you. 